Hello everyone. Camille here from Morpho Soap. So uh, thanks for joining me with this um, not soap making video, but packaging the soaps. So today I will show you how after the soaps are cured and done and we cut them and we trim the sides of them so that they are soft. Um, we will start packaging them. So what we usually use, we use a shrink wrap system. So we put the soap in the shrink wrap and then as you can see and then we will seal it so I will start with putting all the soaps and the shrink wraps and then I will um, seal them also so I kept from each batch maybe five bars just to show you the process on how we do it this one is the rose soap it's a little bit higher than others because it has some soap piping on top um, I have here the Nag Shampa. For the Nag Shampa, I don't think we had a video filmed for that. It was a drop swirl, very nice design. I did not film it because uh, we did that kind of in a rush. We had few bar, a few batches we did at the same time, so we did not film those ones. Um, it's basically the same formula, but the fragrance that we use is called Nag Shampa. It's really nice. It's um, more like an incense scent to it. It was done based on request from um, a customer. So since we did that cust custom batch, we decided to do extra few for us to post on the website. And then here we have our Lavender Sage, which is also a hanger swirl design. We have purple, green and white. It's one of our very successful smells, Lavender Sage. And then I'm just putting one example of each and then I'll pause the video and bring you back after all those were filled in the, uh, in the shrink wrap. The last one here we have is the Triple Play. So this is also one um, soap that we always do. We always carry on the website. We we restock it every time we're low in stock. So the triple clay, because of the name, it's a three type of clays. We have the gasol clay, bentonite clay, and then we have the rose or pink clay on top. They're really rich with minerals. So now that we have all of them in the shrink wrap, we're gonna seal them. And the next step will be using the heat gun to uh, shrink wrap the soap inside. So for the sealing, so you always apply pressure until you can remove one side and then the other side will be fully sealed so I will go ahead and do all of these and um, so we started with the neck shampoo we have five bars of each I, I don't know if uh, someone watching they know the, sh the international shrink wrap system which is a system that I really want to uh, have eventually it comes like a much bigger system with a different way you don't have to seal individually in that system you use a big like uh, film where you can put let's say six bars at a time eight bars at a time or a certain number of bars at a time and then you can use um, a wand I believe they call it to shrink wrap them all at once and you kind of cut them you know you cut them and it's more time efficient instead of spending much more time doing them individually so yeah these are the rose one ready so we move to the lavender sage it's basically applying temperature on one side so that it seals and these are done so now we move to the triple clay and those pieces will go to the recycle so we throw them out and then we will start using the heat gun to shrink them 
So for now I will keep them here on the side, maybe take those out of the way, out of the way. And we take our heat gun. I usually put it on the low heat, give it some time and that's it. Let's start. Hopefully the sound is not very annoying. So I'm not very particular about the shrink wrapping because uh, sometimes if you keep... Now this one seals perfectly fine, there's no holes anywhere. But sometimes if you have like a small hole somewhere, it's not a big deal because this helps your customers. Because that's how we usually take the soaps to display on our um, displays when we go to craft shows or farmers market. So sometimes the customers, they grab the bar, they smell it and they cannot really smell through. Like this one, for example, this small hole here will help with the smell detection. So they will smell it and realize, oh, well, it smells nice or whatever. This, this is what they're looking for. Some of them, they don't even smell because especially when they're returning customers, they know the scent, they know what they're coming to get but it helps with new customers when they want to smell and have an idea so and this is the neck shampoo usually the first one is harder to seal and then as the heat um, goes in the gun it becomes easier as you can see it's sealing faster and easier And by the way, the, our rose soap is made with um, clay. The red part, I don't use any mica or colorants. It's just purely the red clay, kaolin clay, pink kaolin clay. The one that we use in the triple, uh, triple clay as well. This one, the fragrance discolored a little bit. It was supposed to be orange but it turned into a nice color actually and lastly i can try to do two at a time usually after the gun is heated it works and that's it So that's it for this video today i hope you enjoyed watching it so these are oh and lastly i will have to have the stickers maybe let me just pose you and get some stickers show you how the labels look like on our soaps yes so this is um these are the back of the soaps so we have the um manufactured by morpho soaps mississauga ontario cold process soap and then we have all the ingredients listed the website and our contact information so this sticker goes on the back the front is where we have the the, the stamp so the back would be here so that to make sure that we have all the ingredients and that's the front part of the soap so these are the stickers we use we design the stickers and print them ourselves we don't get them we buy those sheets from um, a company online labels and we do the design ourselves so i just wanted to do one example and now i'll leave you until next week i'll go ahead and finish cleaning up adding the labels and packing those soaps thank you so much for taking the time and watching us today I hope you enjoyed this type of videos. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, see you again next week. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and bye for now.